Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Maverick CE textile jacket. The Maverick jacket is RST's versatile touring jacket that's designed to work in all weather conditions. It's a three layer jacket with a removable waterproof membrane and a thermal liner to keep you warm and dry. By taking out the waterproof membrane, that means there's less interruption to stop air from flowing through the vents in the outer. So you know you have a wide range of weather conditions covered. The outer shell is made from RST's Maxtex material, which is a synthetic fabric that's flexible yet abrasion resistant. Overlays, give extra slide protection at the shoulders and there are accordion stretch panels above the elbows and behind the shoulders just here. Accordion panels like that are normally reserved for leather jackets. They do give that textile some extra flexibility as well as perforations at the upper arms and also at the shoulders. There are zipped bicep vents here and then large fold back panels at the chest. Undoing the zip here and securing this flap against the press stud in the corner, reveals a decent sized mesh panel for venting. On top of that, there are vents on the back, down the two sides. The main fastener is a Velcro and poppered storm flap that goes over a zip, and then the collar is dead simple. It's a Velcro panel that just goes across the neck. Nothing extra fancy or special about that. The cuffs are really quite easy too. They're Velcro fasteners over a pleated section and I've found that that leaves room for gloves to go inside or outside. There is quite a bit of excess in that pleat though, and I think these cuffs are best suited to having gloves on the inside rather than over the top. Fit adjusters at the arms and also at the waist, they're both belts, really help with taking up the slack that's created when you take the liners out. And there are also zipped pleats just at the bottom here at the hips, which help to give a bit more flexibility when you're sat on the bike. And then there are good amounts of light reflective material across the jacket to give you extra safety at night, as well as a selection of pockets. There are two storage pockets at the hips here, and then there's one at the lower back, like a map pocket. None of those are listed as waterproof, and I personally wouldn't trust them with anything that I didn't want to get wet because they're right at the outside of the jacket. And it's also worth noting that the pockets here are stitched at the sides, so you can't use them as hand warmer pockets when you're off the bike. The other pockets are on the inside of the jacket. There's two at the waist in the inner shell, and they're duplicated at the thermal liner. So you get those pockets if you're riding with both linings and you get those pockets if you're riding with no linings. But if you're riding with just the waterproof membrane attached, then there's no internal pocket inside that. It's a bit of a fiddle to get the waterproof membrane out of the way to be able to reach these pockets on the inside of the main shell. And because those pockets are outside the membrane, the contents of those pockets are actually quite vulnerable to getting soaking wet. That would be an issue for me with this jacket as I'd want somewhere to keep my wallet and my phone. And personally, I'd want to keep them dry without having to put them in a Ziploc bag, which is probably the option you're looking at for this. So let's talk about that liner on the inside. It's a Sennacqua membrane, and because it's removable, you can take that out when there's no threat of rain. It's a drop liner, so it protects you against any water that soaks past the outer shell. There are positive comments about the waterproofing performance of this jacket in the customer reviews from people who bought this so far, and people mention that water beads up on the outer surface. That's exactly as it should be with a jacket that has a waterproof drop membrane. It's because that outer is treated to repel water. It's important to remember that the coating that's treated with will wear off in time and retreating it will give you more chance of staying dry. I'll put some links to reproofing sprays in the description for this video so you'll know what to use to retreat the outer when it comes to time and there's not as much water beading off the outer surface. The thermal liner for this jacket attaches inside the waterproof layer and it's a full sleeve liner to really help you combat the chill. The early customer reviews give this jacket a lot of praise for its warmth properties. There's also a full set of armour supplied with this jacket, that's the shoulders, the elbows and the back, and it all meets the basic level one of the CE safety standard. Overall, the Maverick jacket's CE approval is the basic level A, which is pretty common for textile jackets like this one. There's also a long connection zip inside that attaches this jacket to the matching Maverick trousers, which are currently £149.99 a pair. So with this jacket having a list price of £199.99, that makes a combination price of £350. Having spent a few hundred miles in a Maverick suit like this one, I would say that represents good value. 
In some ways it's lacking fancy features, but it's an effective textile suit that gives good flexibility for both moving around on the bike and also for different weather conditions. The construction quality and the material is definitely higher than the price tag would suggest, in my opinion. I hope that tells you everything there is to know about the RST Maverick CE textile jacket. But if there is anything you would like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.